Hey guys, today I'm going to show you some of my paint jobs I've done in Black Ops 3 Beta. Now, for those who don't know, um, the paint shop is a lot like the emblem editor from the previous Call of Duty games, and basically how it works is you got to use these different decals and uh, customize it, and you can um, put it on your gun. And I'm going to show you some of the some of my ones and some um, different tips and tricks to make your own camos. So these are my ones. Um, okay, this is one of the easier ones um, called Firestorm, where basically I um, got this like black background um, with some grey diamonds and um, this like fire decal. And there's three layers to each gun. You probably know that by now. Um, uh, and yeah, you can't customize the whole gun, but you can customize these sides. And also in the full game, you'll be able to have cameras as well. And so yeah, this is quite a simple one. Um, just pick some colors and decals, and you can do something like this. Uh, and also then you can name your cameras and put them in the Now this is the Crystallix camo, which uses. Um, the pink metal material because uh, you don't just have colours and there are actual material textures you can use as well. And I, again, this is another another simple one. Uh, yeah, I just got this black background and then these like purple crystals, and I think it looks pretty cool. Um, it's a lot like the real royalty camo from Advanced Warfare. Anyway. Uh, so the rainbow camo, it's very simple, it just uses these different colours and then I um, copied them to this other side. And then the back is this um, like metal decal. Yeah. And this is the electric blue camo I did. And this uses a gradient and to change the gradient you got to go to the colour picker and then um, tap the touchpad to change the gradient mode. And how it works is pick what, uh, two colours and then you've got to use the slider to see like where it fades to. And I think it's, it depends on what colours you're using, but it's, it doesn't really show up. I think one colour is easier to see, like in this case it's probably the blue. Um, yeah, one colour just shows more and yeah, I think there's like different ways of getting around it, like by only using one colour gradients and then layering on, on top of others, but yeah. Um, you know, I also, damn, I keep moving these, it's really not, but I also used um, this little square pattern in the background, it's hard to notice because I turned down the opacity. Um, but yeah, I think you can just about see it. I also used these um, lightning bolt decals and I layered different colours over each other and also got this one here. Yeah. Um, this is the standby um, camo I did which is um, kind of like a TV static theme with, with like the colour bars and stuff and then there's the power symbol you know what I mean and it, it, it looks quite retro it doesn't yeah doesn't really, um, it's not one of my favourites, but it's pretty good. Hmm. Too bad these won't be in the full game, but I'm going to have to remake them. Anyway, here is the prototype camo, where I've um, got these like warning stripes and a crash test logo and stuff going on, and then I've got a warning symbol there. Uh, yeah, it's one of my favourites. Uh, and then we have the heartbeat camo. I was originally going to call it Pulse, but that's kind of censored by the game. So if Treyarch are watching this, please fix it. Um, yeah, it's very simple. I just use these line patterns and then um, use a black box to cover up the ones that um, like went over, if you know what I mean. Yeah, it's simple, but it's one of my favorites. And then we have the Elliot camo. Yes, my name is Elliot, by the way, if you didn't know. Um, although, 
probably 90% of the people watching do know who I am, so, you know. And this is actually based on my Lobo Planet costume. Because um, you got like the beta vest style here, and then um, like the scarf pattern with the eye monitor, and then the heart symbol. And I, I think it's, it's pretty good. I mean, if, if you're a fan of Lobo Planet, you can kind of like do guns in the um, style of your costumes and stuff and that anything is possible with the paint shop. Now anyway, I'm going to show you how to make your own camo and uh, you get 31 slots to make camos and each camo is only on one weapon and I think that's more than enough if you want to like pick a select few weapons and only want uh, like a few camos for each weapon. Um, I also have a few on my knives. I've got um, the uh, Sunset Gradient one. It's quite simple, but I like it. Uh, and the Plan Hide Gamer 1337 knife, which uh, is actually the first one I made. Um, and it was late at night when I made it. But yeah, there it is. It's quite simple, and I rarely ever use the knife. Anyway, um, yeah, I chose the Arc 7 because it's got a good area to paint on and customize, and also it's one of my favorite weapons. But anyway, so the first thing I recommend doing is choosing a background color. And to do this, just pick a square and make it really big, and then just choose a color. I'm gonna choose green for this one. Then you can just pick different designs, and also I think to add a bit more to the background, you could um, use a pattern, and it, they can work really well. Uh, I'm going to do like a kind of stripy pattern going on here. I'm going to do this, uh, and then I'm going to use the L and R one buttons to turn down the opacity. Make it blend in. Turn it down to ten percent, and yeah, I think that works really well. And then I'm going to, I don't know, say, uh, put one three three seven on the gun. But I'm going to uh, make it red. And no, <laughs> I'm not going to use this because, in my opinion, it looks kind of crap. But anyway. I'm also going to rotate it and, um, oh yeah, and use the right stick to change its size. Uh, and then I'm just going to get some other things. And also, um, if you press the R3 button, um, you can free scale it and make it look kind of squishy. I think it looks stupid, but yeah. It's very useful for making different sizes of lines and stuff. Anyway, I'm going to put on free skin. No, fix the scale, sorry. Um, and then, if you want to uh, like repeat a certain shape, then you can press the touchpad to copy it, and then press options to paste, and it'll be in the same place, but on the next layer up, and then you can move it around. And Again, the, the layer system is basically what determines what goes in front of the others. So if I were to move this up, it would start covering up the other um, the other shapes. So that's what that does. And also I'm going to put a zone on there. Okay, so color picker. I think this was the colour we chose. Um, so yeah, that's how that works. Uh, and also, um, you can uh, like flip a shape around if you want it to go the other way. So I'm going to put this uh, like blue lightning bolt on it. Uh, and bear in mind that on each gun, the side you see when you're playing is the left side, and you might catch a bit of the top side, but you yourself will not see the right side. But it is it is still worth customizing because I think other people might see it. 
I don't know, I haven't really seen anyone else's paint jobs. Um, but yeah, just keep that in mind. If you if you want to really um, go for something that catches your eye and it looks really good, I, I'd say put most of the effort on the left side. Um, let's see what else there is. Um, I also put a kind of blood stain. Uh, yeah. And also, I'm going to put it behind here. And also, keep in mind that if you're using transparent colours, it might change the colour. Um, like this kind of looks a bit purple, and it actually looks pretty good. But just, yeah, you got to remember all these different factors if you want to make a good camo. And Let's see. Oh yeah, you can also um, change the outline mode with the square button. Uh, I don't know if I'll give it a but yeah, only the um, lines around it are visible. Um, also, I think I might do a gradient. Uh, I need it again. Okay, so I'm going to add this bit color and then on the other side, I'm going to have a brighter red. And I'm going to use this slider. And if you can see, it's kind of getting darker on the left. Yeah, there are loads of different tools you can use, and yeah, it's very useful. Um, and if you can see on the right side, you've got all the information about like where stuff is and how big it is and, and like the angle it's rotated at and its opacity. Now that is really useful. If you want to remake a paint job in the full game, then I recommend uh, that you take screenshots or write it down because uh, yeah, this information is unfortunately the only way you're going to be able to perfectly remake a camo. And yeah, there's... <laughs> As far as we know, there isn't going to be a way to transfer stuff to the full game unless you're like able to um, like back it up or something. But no, I don't think there's any kind of backwards compatibility. Uh, that's just about done for this side anyway. And you can copy and paste between sides, but you can't flip a side, which is really annoying. Hang on a minute, I missed a spot. Oh, oops. Uh, okay, I cut that. Yeah, I'm going to keep it quite simple for the other sides. Okay. Hang on, where'd this go? Can't find it. Uh, where's it gone? Hang on. Why? Why does the... This should be centered. And now I'm going to cut that out. But I'm going to paste it on this side. And again, it's invisible. I know. I'm, I'm going to just copy this, paste it here. Why is it gone? I'm going to turn up the opacity, see if I can see it. Oh no. Um, but anyway, this is just a very simple um, instance of what you can do. There's so much more that's possible. Um, for example, if I go to the material picker. Now, in the full game, we're going to have access to camos, but you can't unlock it in the beta. Um, but if you look here, we can use the materials. Now, as far as I know, everything here is available to access, but um, it might be that, uh, like in Black Ops 2, you have to unlock emblems by doing challenges and stuff. So I'm not sh sure how it's going to work, but anything could happen. Hopefully, this will all be available, because I have used a lot of different stuff in. Um, some of my designs and I want to get them back in the full game. So anyway, I'm going to kind of use this emerald green 
material and actually I really kind of like it I think I'll put it on here yeah that damn you PS4 I was recording there and you just finished the clip anyway as I was saying you can scale the materials and um, move the textures kind of like the UV tool in Logo Planet anyway I'm gonna change this to the green material anyway I think that's just about everything to learn with the camos. You can uh, change a shape to another one and, and it'll be just about the same size and stuff. I'll just change this back. Uh, but yeah, I think that's just about it. Uh, okay, I'd say we're done here. Let's just name it. Save. Now, to put it on your actual gun itself, you're going to have to go into create a class and then uh, just pick one. So, yeah. Now, it's really annoying because you can't rotate the gun uh, like to the top side or the right side, and you can only see the left. So, just keep that in mind. Uh, see if see if your attachments cover stuff stuff up as well because. Um, if you use something like high caliber, then I think it might go over some of the design. And also, you, can, uh, you can't see the paint when you're putting on attachments. So you've got to visualize how everything will look. Well, I suppose the attachments you've selected will be on there. But anyway, let's take this for a test drive, shall we? Go into a game. I think they can hear me. My oh God. I oh know. So I'll wait to turn this off. Usually, uh, you talk to me. Usually. Oh, uh, I can do that, but... I don't know. Hopefully they've all got annoyed and muted me. Oh well. I'm getting really nervous. But anyway, as I was saying, so... In-game, you'll only be able to see the left side of the gun and the top side. And Team you'll barely match. see the right side, unless I think there were some weapons. Watch and learn, brothers. Um, this the, the is the future right of combat. Reload animation. Right. Till the power that, goes out. You'll barely see it, so I wouldn't recommend Black putting any Lock and low. Like special designs on the right side. I'm mostly trying to mirror the left. He's dead. Yes. Get wrecked. Shut out. Oh, I'm doing pretty good. UAV awaiting orders. In the turn, sensors are captured on objective. Ah, uh, I was on a six kill streak as well. That was good. Midway, UAV fuel check will be a game for video. Now, enough talk, more shooting. So as you can see, the attachments aren't really covering up. Much. UAV priority request received, rerouting. Yeah, if you're trying to do a good design for Tip is discharge ready. I definitely recommend the R7, because that's got the biggest area. Well, for, for the assault rifle. Hostile HCXD. You can't sacrifice your skill in order to Lightning just strike on standby. Go crazy with the things. Oh, and also, secret glitch. I noticed here. There's UAV inbound. Invisible wall there. Yeah, 
Too bad you can't paint the specialist weapons. Tempest recharge. I love how it changes the other enemies. Kill. I almost. Engineer down. UAV ready for deployment. Lightning strike on standby. Honestly. Task lightning strike my frag list. Abilities means maximum victories. This is really good. I didn't expect to do so well in a paint tutorial. In this game, I probably gonna think I'm talking to myself, but no, guys, I'm filming a video for my channel. If you're, if you didn't mute me, that is. But there I am. Anyway, I think it might be time to sign out now. Anyway, see you guys in the next video, whenever that is. We've got a load of it and gameplays coming up. Anyway, bye bye. Guys, I'm an idiot. Anyway, I just rewatched the video and found out why the um, stripe pattern didn't appear yeah it was behind layer one yeah if you can believe it uh that was stupid uh i i'm a real idiot when i'm on camera well not really camera i suppose um yeah i'm just gonna paste this pattern on uh, Anyway, there's our little pattern. Um, oh my god, I, I I do some really stupid stuff. I hope you'll forgive me for that. Wow. Um, no, I, I actually like this. Um, oh, and also remember to follow me on Twitter. Uh, link on my um, channel. Because I've got like um, loads of screenshots and video updates and stuff you can find there. And, and yeah, just... 
loads of information and stuff, so just go to my Twitter page and um, make sure to follow. Well, if you like the content, you don't have to. But, yeah, just check it out. I've got screenshots of all my weapons and stuff, and also, <laughs> I upload a lot of other screenshots too um, that don't go into my videos. Um, yeah, just make sure to check it out. Anyway, bye guys. For real this time.